Kids back in school, it's important for parents and teachers to know whether a child sniffles or coughs could be the cold or something more serious. The Valley Today's Brian Sherrod joins us live with a breakdown. Good morning, Brian. And good morning, Jordan. That's exactly right. You want to make sure you know the difference between the cold, flu, and also with COVID-19. Many of them have similarities, but of course, they're all infections as well. So it's good to know that difference because you don't want to take your kid to school and happen to be sick and get other people sick as well. Now, according to the CDC in Sanford, a cold shows with coughs, runny noses, and sometimes a headache. And it's usually not severe. Usually gets better in a day or two, and the flu shows between one to four days after infection with fevers, chills, muscle aches, and even fatigue. COVID-19 can show similar symptoms but differ with blood clots and stroke, and it's usually five days after infection but lasting longer than the flu. Now, the loss of taste and smell can also occur with both, but COVID-19 is more frequent. Now, in serious circumstances, both can cause pneumonia that could lead to respiratory failure. And getting a COVID-19 test is another way to tell the difference between COVID and flu. There are other people uh, who, uh, if you give them COVID-19, uh, they, they are at risk for severe complications. And a lot of our population in the state is not vaccinated yet. Um, so it's very important to recognize COVID-19 early. Now, one person on average can spread the COVID-19 infection to six to eight people, and it spreads much easily in indoor spaces, kind of like schools. Now, if you're not able to get a COVID-19 test, let's say that either you're not qualified to get vaccinated because you're under the age of 11, or let's happen to say you just didn't get your COVID-19 vaccine. You want to make sure that you get a COVID-19 test. That way you're not potentially spreading that infection to other people. Now, everything I just mentioned can be found on valleynewslive.com. Jordan, I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio. Uh, Brian Sherrod reporting live. Thank you.